every year a Muslim city more in Germany. Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Today is the 13th of October 2018 and behind me you see from the AfD the alternative for Germany a big uh, election campaign. And yeah, tomorrow is state election in Bavaria and I catch some impressions for you. Um, Bavaria is ruled by the CSU, the Chris Social Union that is in collision with the Chris Democratic Union uh, in the government for Angela Merkel. And uh, now to say, yeah, or in Bavaria the Chris Social Union was the ruling party all over the place, but because of all the refugee situation and so on. The uh, downfall in the polls and in the numbers and so between 30-35% when the ones were about 50% of the votes they had. And the Greens, the media say, go up to 19%. I'm really in doubt of this. But who knows tomorrow? And this is the day before the election. I show you some election posters and some slogans. I also did a, a test about political opinions or what is your opinion about certain topics and what political parties do agree the most with this. Now the first part is about today on Saturday and the other one is tomorrow about the final results of the election. So guys, behind me there are different political, par poli uh, political parties that are um, talking with the population, like people like me, because um, yeah, tomorrow is the big election day. Everyone try to convince some people to vote for them, and yeah. So all together, there is also some police, and behind there also quite a lot of police and I've seen Joachim Herrmann, he's the internal minister of Bavaria at the moment, he's also there somewhere and because he is from Erlangen where I'm at the moment and yeah like everyone it's um election campaign in the state of Bavaria and yeah. Welcome guys it's Sunday the 14th of October it's election day in the state of Bavaria and I was just in the gym on Sunday morning. This is what I do Sunday morning. I'm going to the gym, so I pumped up and be ready to do my vote. It's a hard burden. Um, it's for defending freedom and liberty and the burden of the free world. It's on my shoulders. And what can I say? Like I mentioned in the clip before, or yeah, it's in the same video, the Greens get hyped up a lot, about 19%, and the main reason, I guess, is that they don't give the media attention to the AfD, the alternative for Germany. I'm, I'm still quite sure that the Greens will not reach the 19%, that the CSU will lose, yes, but still be the strongest party. And probably the AfD can have something between 10 and 15 percent. Who knows? And yeah, we have to see how it will work. What's a big factor as well, that even if the people are happy with the state politics, the government, uh, you know, Germany has 16 federal states, and then we have an overall government. And the refugee situation and the politics of Angela Merkel don't make the people happy. There are many unsolved issues like the deportation of the illegals. Merkel said we cannot choose and we cannot have any impact who is coming to us. It's like giving up the whole border system. We cannot protect the border, she said. Um, some other politician said <laughs> it's an illusion that we can deport the illegals. The next issue we face it's about the diesel scandal. There's no solution at all and it will cost the, uh, the people that own diesel cars a lot of money properly. Uh, 
Yeah, the energy that you know Germany has the image to be eco-friendly and green. It's also fake. Germans pay about 70% more energy prices than the European neighbors. And all the money given in into this <laughs> doesn't have any positive impact on the ecological system or the, the nature at all. So it's a big money absorbing industry as well. Not to mention the general overaging situation here in Germany. There's also no solution besides bringing in more low qualified people. So many many issues that upset the people even if the, the state of Bavaria runs really smooth and this has a huge impact on a lot of state elections because the people say what you do in the government in Berlin is not what we think is considerable or is reasonable at all. You know, I don't mind if someone has a different opinion as long as he said that's are my arguments and I see it like this and that and say okay, we can agree or disagree. The biggest issue I have with the politics, there's no plan at all what they are doing. Nothing. And this upsets me quite a lot. I made also a voting test and uh, leading is the FDP, the Federal, uh, the, the Liberal Party. And second after comes the AfD, the Alternative for Germany, and then the Chris Social Union. And we have also a Bavarian party and a Franconian party. There are really some minor parties that have no, no big impact so far, but it's interesting. And I'm not still sure at the moment, but maybe I tell you after I voted. No, I will not. It's a secret. It's my private right. Okay, guys, I voted. And really, it's not an easy choice because I see Germany, but it's also in Europe and the Western world, a lot of struggle. It's modern world digitalization, the impact of changing society, some um, smaller families, even the destruction of the traditional family, um, immigration, overaging globalization the neocons that that want to gain a profit by destroy the structure the culture and the family as i see it and yeah i see politics need a wake up wake up call and the big issue is when you look at it exactly that it's corporations and law firms that writing the laws for the politicians and I watching the debates about in the German parliament and there's some good people uh, in all political parties even if I probably disagree with some points but there are also some kind of idiots as it seems where I think how could those people be elected representations of the citizens uh, the system yeah I don't know how to express it and we should bring back the good intention to be a politician is to serve the people and at the moment not to, to serve the interest of, of globalization and yeah, the economy. Of course, an economy is important to bring stability and um, wealth to a society, but on what price? As we see it on globalization, that's not how it should be and not how it works when you look a little bit deeper in the plans of the neocons and we need to protect our own economy and what's the benefit if the economy grow but 5,000 or 10,000 people lose their jobs huh and because the, the production line is shipped to another country probably it's good for this country but economical growth can happen in all countries in a different way not like the neocons and neoliberal thesis say. Also, as I said, the global politics has a big influence on the state election at the moment. And yeah, let's see the final results. And be honest, on Monday I have to work again anyway. So it's not like, bam, suddenly everything changes.
Oh, yeah. That's so far. I did my duty as a citizen besides paying taxes. Okay guys, now it's Sunday evening and the election's kind of done. And yeah, the results are like expected in some way. The CSU had the biggest loss or the second biggest loss in the history since the existing of the German Federal Republic. And the CSU has 37.4% of the votes. The Greens got, yeah. 17.7 percent and it was one of the highest scores they ever had on on a state election then third largest party is the free voters with 11.4 percent the free voters are in in many states they are not bound to any political party and kind of independent people fourth largest is the afd the alternative for germany with 10.3 percent fifth are the social democrat democrats with 9.6 percent and the social democrats lost quite heavy and it's really related to the politics they don't have any what can i say then i'm glad for this in a way also the the liberal um party got the five percent and it means that inside the parliament as a political party you have to reach in most cases over five percent of the votes to be elected or be rep a rep uh, representant in in the government and then yeah the left wing party got 3.1 but it doesn't matter they are below the five percent now let's see who will form the new state coalition um, of Bavaria because the Christ Social Union hasn't enough votes. They clearly said they will not do it with the alternative for Germany and with the Greens it would be a really say a so far away because the Greens are really um, a really ideological driven party. And yeah, and let's see how it goes. Anyway, as I said, I have to work tomorrow. It will be not as destructive as many people maybe expect. But yeah, let's see. Germany, Europe and the Western world is in a change. So thanks for watching, guys. Till the next time. And cheers. Ah, and... What are your opinion about the votes and the political climate in general we have? So, good night.